many of us prefer to first install OpenBSD on virtual machine and then install it on the actual hardware or even our hardware is not supported by the OpenBSD. The most popular option for virtualization is VirtualBox. However, OpenBSD support on VirtualBox is very poor. I have already created a couple of videos in the past to just showcase how to install OpenBSD on VirtualBox or even how to tackle some of the obstacles such as enabling multiple CPU core support and so on. However, the experience is still very broken. It's a slow, installation crashes often and you need to disable a bunch of the options to make the past day installation stage. Therefore, I highly recommend against using VirtualBox to install OpenBSD. Instead, my recommendation is to use QEMU KVM if you are using Linux. Note that in this video, I'm not going to cover how to install QEMU and Word Manager on your Linux distribution because for each distribution, the instruction varies greatly, but it shouldn't be very complicated than installing a bunch of packages plus maybe doing some configurations here and there. My assumption is that you have already KVM QEMU up and running and you can actually access your Word Manager and even tested it ideally with another uh, operating system and tested that it everything works. For the OpenBSD, the experience on KVM QEMU is very similar to the actual hardware and the speed is fast, but I have to be very upfront with it that the sound is not working. Besides doing just one or two small configurations here and there, everything else is offered out of the box. So let's go through it. The first thing is to create a virtual machine. You have to actually click on the manual install because the Word Manager doesn't recognize OpenBSD at all. And even here, if you try to type OpenBSD, there's no option. And even sadly, there's nothing for the FreeBSD. The closest thing that we have here is NetBSD. So select NetBSD, then afterwards you can select the amount of the RAM that you want as well as the CPU cores. You can put multiple cores here up to how many that your hardware support. In my case, I'm going with three as of now. And then you put the hard drive, click forward, select the name here. So I'm going to put OpenBSD test. It should not have any space between the name and afterwards it creates the virtual machine. Now we have to go to the option here and do two small tweaks. The first one is to mount the CD of the OpenBSD. For that, click on the add hardware, a storage, select the type CD-ROM, let it be as IDE. And then here you can actually add the directory where your ISO file locates and then select one of the ISO files. In my case, I'm going with the 7.8 install. Are you sure? Couldn't be attached? Yes, that's fine. Because we are running the virtual machine now. As a result, it cannot attach it. Let me shut it down quickly. And the next thing that we have to do, which is the whole point of kind of this video, is to switch the display server. By default, Word Manager uses a Spice server, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. You have to say, change this one to VNC. It will be a slower, but it, it is better for OpenBSD. Because if you go with the default one, that the mouse and keyboard will not work. If you press whatever in the installation, nothing works, and then you may think oh everything is broken of course we have to change the boot up and selections i have forgotten to demonstrate that that's why when i boot it nothing showed up you just need to select the cd-rom and put it as the first bootable device and then let's start again we should be able to launch the virtual machine and go to the OpenBSD installation. The rest of the process is the same as any normal OpenBSD installation. So I'm not going to demonstrate it just to make sure that the keyboard works. I type here I and then you see whatever I type works fine. Now there is one more step that we have to do and that comes post installation. And that one is about setting the screen resolution for your virtual machine. 
I'm going to actually launch my own uh, virtual machine here and demonstrate to you how you can actually set the screen resolution of your virtual machine. All right, the virtual machine is booted. The first thing that you have to do is switch to the root user and then go to the Etsy x11 Xeno DM x setup zero file and go to the bottom of the file add this line which is x render dash dash output default dash dash mod and then set the screen resolution that you wish in my case i put 1024 by 768 just to have it as a small window on my disk once you have done that reboot your system and then you should see the desirable screen resolution in your virtual machine that's all for this video i see you in the next one have a great time cheers